Hey what's going on guys, in this video we'll be creating this uh, minimal title animation in HitFilm Express. So uh, let's get started, open up your HitFilm Express and from the template I'll choose 1080p at 60 frames per second. You are free to choose any other template, then click on start compositing. And once it opens up, click on this cog icon to open up the composite chart properties. We'll change the duration and make our animation three seconds long and click on OK. And um, I'm just going to click on options and I'm going to uncheck uh, this option right here that says checkerboard background. I'll just like to get rid of that. Now our background will be black and we'll just work like this. Now the first step is to create a new layer, uh, create a new plane layer and we'll just call it new plane one and uh, let's just uh, change its color to a red color we can we can change it later on and then click on ok the height and width is 1920 by 1080 same as the size of your composition and then i'm just going to grab uh, this point right here and i'll just try to scale this down a bit somewhere something like that and now um, I'll just create a text layer, new layer, then text. Set the width to 1920 and height to 1080 and click on OK. Select your text tool and just type in your text. So I'll just type in clean. Hit Ctrl A on your keyboard to select your text. Go to the text tab and here we can change the font. So I'll be using this Unisans font. I'll just increase the font size as well. And I'll just click on this icon that says center alignment. So let's just bring this font. For, I mean, uh, let's just bring this text on top of this red shape right here. Something like that. Now we can just select this text again. And we can just increase the spacing in between the letters like that okay now um i'd like to animate the shape and the text as well so uh, we'll just animate the shape first so just expand it go to transform and move your player to one second duration create a scale keyframe first of all unlink it and then just create a scale keyframe move your player head to first frame just set it to zero so you'll have this simple animation Select your select these two keyframes, convert it to manual bezier, then go into value graph and I'll just create a curve like this. So simple animation, nothing fancy. And I'll just you know, decrease the size a bit. Something like that. Just try to put the text in the center like that. Okay, now we'll animate our text as well. So I want my text, uh, again, make sure your playhead is at the first one second duration, create a position keyframe, then move back to your first frame, then just change the position and bring it uh, over here. So we'll have this kind of animation. Again, we're going to select these two keyframes, convert it to manual bezier, then go into value graph and then create a curve like this. So you'll have this kind of animation. And what I want to do is I want uh, this text to be visible in only, I want this text to be visible in this red area only now not outside this box which is it is doing right now as you can see i want this text to be in this red box area only so to do that we'll just go to effects and search for set mat and apply it onto our text i'll just rename this to text one and go to the controls we have the set mat right here let's change the source layer to new plane one and set the blend to subtract and we'll also click on this inward option now as you can see our text will only be visible in this box right here 
all right now the next step is to let me just import a, an image so that I can use it as a background I'll use this image as my background and as you can see this is how our animation looks so far all right let's create another plane we'll call it new plane 2 set its color to anything you want to it won't matter since it will not be visible in our animation and then click on ok i'll resize this again use these points and just resize it and i'll just put it right here and we'll animate uh, this shape as well so um, expand it go to transform set a position keyframe at two at we'll set the position keyframe at one second okay and then move forward to two second mark and just change the position and bring it in onto this uh, text right here we can just uh, change the x value as well okay so i'm going to set this to negative three so i'll add this basic animation then i'm going to select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier they're going to value graph i'm going to create a similar slope all right And what I want to do is I'll just first of all let's create a new text layer we'll call it uh, set this width to 1920 and height to 1080 click on OK select your text tool and just uh, type in your text so I'm just going to type in title Control A to select your text go to the text tab and just change the font to something different so I'll just use this font set the spacing between the letters to zero let's increase this a bit and let's just bring this on top of this black shape right here okay uh, it's too big the text is too big so I'll just again resize it and just increase the spacing between the letters let's try to resize this can okay it looks fine now I'll animate the text so just copy the these two keyframes of the black shape copy and just paste it right onto your text layer highlight the position right click and click on paste and now your text will be at the top so don't worry about it we'll just fix that just have to change this value right here so it's at negative 506 we'll copy it and double click on your second keyframe and paste that value there so we'll have this kind of animation all right that is looking nice now what i want to do is i want to get rid of this black area so to do that we'll go to the fix tab and search for set mat effect apply let's apply the set mat on our new plane one okay expand the set mat set the source layer to new plane two which is this black area and we're going to set the blend to subtract and let's hide our new plane two layer we don't want that to be visible now as you can see that area the black color is not there anymore the black rectangle box is not there anymore I don't want this text to be visible uh, in this area in this portion right here and uh, for that we will again use the set mat effect and apply it onto your text new text one I'm going to expand it set the source layer to new plane two and we'll change it to subtract 
and as you can see our text is uh, is only visible in this red area and not on this text right here the title text hope that makes some sense and let's take a look at our animation we need to fix this as well so don't worry about that so let's just fix it so create a new plane layer create a new plane layer and we'll call this mask and click on ok we'll just hide it for now and we'll just see where uh, okay we'll just have to put this uh, line this blue line right next to this or on top of this uh, red shape right here and zoom in and try to be as precise as possible like that i'll just use the arrow keys to be a bit more precise with this and then again use the set mat apply it onto your mask expand the set mat set the source layer to new text set the blend to subtract all right um so i had to apply the set mat effect on my text layer and set the source layer to mask set the blend to subtract then we can hit the invert checkbox okay now our text will only be visible in this area right here and that's it guys that's how easy it is to create this kind of animation one more thing uh, we can do is go to the fix tab and search for color uh, gradient so it's under gradients and fills color gradient apply it onto your new plane one which is this red shape and we'll just go into the color gradient and let's just bring this point right over here in the middle this one right over here so we'll just create a simple gradient and we'll just change the color to color of the first point to something like there let's use this color all right and the second color will be this one maybe so yeah that is looking nice you can play around with the colors and get a different look so it's up to you and uh, that's it guys that's how we can create this cool animation in hit film express i hope this video was helpful and if it was please do hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video